All right, quick little update. So from the last video, I was drilling out the uh, lower fuel grain housing and that's all drilled out and topped. And I got 1032s just holding it in place. Uh, the fuel grain and nozzle, none of that stuff's in it right now. So that's the fin can with the fins and the fin bands all together creates the can. I'm not really happy with it. This tube is slightly different um, than what I built these bands with and the fit up I'm not crazy about. So not sure what we're gonna do about that yet. And again, this when these are all clamped down, this does shrink. Um, I haven't fully clamped it down yet, but I can tell already I'm just not gonna be thrilled with the way this band fits. So I'm most likely gonna cut it up and scrap it or cut it up and do bolt-on bands or one way or another, it's all getting cut up and I'll redo it somehow, some way so on and so forth uh the fins themselves are good but the bands not happy with those gonna do something about that moving forward got the titanium standoff tubes on there uh they're drilled and tapped and there's a stud in here 3 8 by 16 studded here 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 and here and then that goes up to that retention bulkhead that we were working on in the first video and that right there is the 48 inch payload tube that's really long it's actually going to get cut but i'm just using it for fit up and layout purposes right now and yeah so this is going to be a really short one I got a dreaded dentist appointment I got to head to here in a few, but uh, I'm just tinkering around with this for a little bit before I do have to go. And then uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to focus on this today or start working on these new fin bands or I may hold off on the fins. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what direction I'm going to go in yet. Like I said, the fins themselves are good. I just, I'm really not happy with how the bands fit up. And, you know, maybe I'll, I'll throw them all, throw all the lags in there and uh, clamp, clamp all the fins down just to see what it fits like. But I can tell you right now from what I'm seeing, I'm not going to like it. And, you know, again, I know there's there's this gap here and all that. But that all that all pulls together when you run all your fasteners through here. And when you pull all those together, it's obviously going to like cinch down on the tube. Um, I just know it's not going to cinch down enough for me to be happy with it. Um, and I mean, I gotta be happy with it. It's gonna go Mach 5. There's no question about that. Um, so it's gotta be right. It's gotta be done right. And it's gotta be sturdy and heavy duty and extremely lightweight. But anyway, that's it for now. Just a quick, quick run through and update on where I'm at on this thing. And uh, I'll keep it going.